back in a project. Okay, so today on the Mustang build, we cut up the fenders where it was all smashed in, get the donor truck, and of course, we got to break the donor truck in. Let's cut to it. Um, yeah, we don't have any chains, but you know, it'll make do. Oh yeah, should be fine. Just leaking a little bit of oil. Look at that exhaust. Hey, he You can edit that out. Yeah. Actually, I just put no for kids. Oh, yeah, I do too. I had one video, I was like, do you want kids in these? And then Anna's ass like, walked by in like a cheeky bane suit. I was like, yeah, I can't put for kids on that. <laughs> Strap it down right, boys, right? Yeah, you gotta get that content. Oh, yeah. Probably the boring content on YouTube. Strapping down a truck. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she's a live action. Can't be any worse than Josh's channel. That's a, that's a brand new caliper in there. Heck yeah, dude. Straight from Ford. Probably. I don't know, last one I got from Ford was black, so. Yeah, mine are like the ones on the Dodge. Like, Holy fuck. That fuel's that would fit a power stroke. Did you lock this? And it was on 37. Tyler. Come here. What? Come here. Look at me. Look right. Simba. So, just pick up the truck. Uh, <laughs> Josh and Ethan are currently in the truck. Uh, I'm sure they're probably having a sing along and doing something. Sweet Caroline. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Hey, now whip some shit. Come on. All right, he's going to come back and every light's going to be on. My dad. Engine light's already on. Or if he's still in full wheel. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I still had that tanner to put on it. That was pathetic. Oh man, this thing's gonna be some work. There's some smokies coming on right there. Don't worry about that. <laughs> so, did you make well, a mistake? Yeah, oh yeah, no, I definitely. As soon as I started looking, I made a mistake. As soon as I bought the Mustang, I made a mistake. Okay, well. Hey, we're on the bright side. I got a 6 -0. Another one at least. So, start getting the motor out and cutting out the Mustang. Hewitt Fabrication Shop. Let's get cut off the exhaust. <laughs> hey, cut, the rear cut the what? Brake line off the rear. Oh yeah, that would definitely work. Ugh. So closest to the turbo or? Yeah, I go way back Let's, there. Let's go right there. <laughs> Woo! Tyler, what's the first thing you do when you buy a new truck? Cut off the exhaust like a critter. Oh, right here. Woo! There 
she is. Oh yeah. We'll just leave her here. Woo! And we'll drive around like this. Sound good? That works the value of it, Emmy. <laughs> it really doesn't affect the value at all. It actually increases the value. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, now, some now, a black now, now you can sell it for like 10k to some fucking yee yee kid. <laughs> you and your cursing. <laughs> I gotta bloop that out again. Oh yeah, much better. Much better. Spider in it. Yeah, it's all that. Oh god. Uh, we also have 27 miles still empty. Ah, oh, that's fine. What? No, we got like half a tank. <laughs> <laughs> so does the fuel gauge not work or does that not work? <laughs> I guess we'll find out in 27 miles. Hey, in my mom's truck it was always that that didn't work. Let's hope. Oh my goodness. Two cab lights out. Bro, are you kidding me? I spent three grand on this thing and I have two cab lights out? Insane. I can't see anything out there. Just keep squirting. It's a raining man. Hallelujah, it's a raining man. Oh, windshield wipers sound great. Man, that real tree right there. Ooh. Or browning, sorry. Browning. Real question, does the horn work? Oh, yes. Dude, mine doesn't even work. <laughs> <laughs> Another reason why you should part out yours and keep this thing. I'm saying. But none of my gauges work either, so we're fine. My gauges work. One of these don't, so. It what is your actually went away, so. Oh. 9.1 miles to the gallon. That's oil. It doesn't get much. Yeah, yeah, that's how many gallons of oil you use per mile. <laughs> Well, I guess I can stay on the tree. I'm staying on the tree. <laughs> Do some rippies back here, you know what I mean? Hell yeah. Oh man. Oh, there we go. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work, fucking hit it. Gosh darn it, Ethan. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, oh, it works! <laughs> Man, this wood grain's awful nice. Yeah, start doing one. Four? <laughs> it's so Let's get it's shitty. So rough.
<laughs> that works. All right, you gotta plow down a little tree or something too. <laughs> You kept fucking changing directions. <laughs> it wasn't me, it was the ruts. Oh man. I just passed through the middle. Wrong. This is so much better than high speed. <laughs> Mirror's all cracked. Yeah, I mean, I can still see it like this one. Yeah, right. All right, floor it, man. thinking yo yeah no it definitely needs shocks uh well then again it's not gonna stay just throwing a hazard and pull over right here oh yeah the 6 so people know it breaks down pretty used to it pulling on the side of the road well she's drivable so that's all that matters now it's on full motor i guess <laughs> i prefer it closer <laughs> Uh, so this is a 2004 F-250 uh, 6.0 Power Stroke. This is the one for the Mustang. Uh, it actually runs pretty decent. Uh, guess we'll uh, we'll have to see. So I was going over the footage last night of the Mustang. Uh, I didn't get a final shot of what it actually looked like. So I guess we can go ahead and take a look at it now. So as you can see, we got everything cut up. Uh, we actually didn't cut it down here like I thought we were going to. You can see my line right there. Uh, we decided to keep the frame rails to where the point where they were actually good, uh, at least on this side, is somewhat decent. Probably gonna have to get the tractor with a strap and yank it off to the center and see if that can kind of straighten it out. Because if you look at it straight on, it's definitely bent. This one's all bent. 
this has still got to come off. That side was taken off in the crash. Uh, got to fix all of this. Still have more of this to cut out. Still got a lot to work and figure out where the motor's going to go, the motor mounts. Uh, we got the old ones off. Uh, next thing to do is basically just take the motor out of the 6.0 or out of the F-250 and get into this one. Hopefully we'll have a teardown video and be able to send it and put it on the channel so everyone can see it. Uh, it might be a how-to video, probably won't be, kind of just more of a time lapse of us doing it. Uh, I mean, it's about five hours to do, but we should be able to handle it and uh, get it out and post it so y'all can see it. But other than that, uh, let me know what y'all think. It's a uh, it's a project, all right, and uh, technically only you know, day two of working on it. Day one was pulling the motor, which I really didn't get that much footage of. Uh, day two was cutting it and getting the truck, and the rest of it's going to be as we go. Thanks, y'all, for watching.